Hello you all. In this video we will recycle polystyrene back into its monomer. Styrene. But be careful the thermolysis process produces carcinogenic side products. This said let's start. By dissolving a lot of polystyrol into acetone and then evaporating it I greatly reduced the volume and increased the density by a lot. This polystyrol granulate was way better to handle and reduces the time for producing a set amount of raw styrene by a significant factor. But let's look at what polystyrene is. PS is the polymer of styrene and is produced by reacting styrene with itself to form the polymer. But for a good and constant polymerization you need a catalyst. Interestingly styrene can polymerize spontaneous with anionic cationic or radical catalysts. So you have a wide variety to choose from. For the process we have to dry still the PS. Therefore I fill some of it in a three neck round bottom flask. This flask is then hooked up to a distillation bridge and the water supply of the condenser is connected. A heating mantle is also put in place and the PS is heated on maximum heat. At first the PS melts but after some time degrades and produces a thick white fume. But the problem with thermolysis is that due to the high temperature not only the desired styrene is produced, but also some other aromats and shorter slash smaller hydrocarbons. This leads to a high contamination rate in the destillate. Another problem is the spontaneous repolymerization of the styrene which can clock the condenser so be careful and destill some acetone or an aggressive acid through the setup to clean it afterwards. All you have to do now is just keep heating and collecting the destillate. The destillate coming over will darken in color while the reaction is progressing due to the increasing heat in the reaction flask and the increasing percentage of pyrolysis compounds being formed. This is perfectly normal for a amateur setup and can be dealt with later when the raw styrene is fractionally destiled. Also it helps to insulate the entire setup with aluminium foil to reduce reflux of the styrene which ultimately leads to more pyrolysis and a higher percentage of contaminants. But if you really want to be on the safe side it would be best to flush the system with CO2 or argon so no oxygen is present that can catalyze the polymerization of the styrene or directly react with the formed compounds. In the end of the reaction you end up with a reaction swamp that should look like this. Nice and toxic like lakesides in the land of freedom to shit on environmental protection. But now let us make this raw styrene great again. Therefore we have to get rid of all components that are water soluble so therefore we wash it with some water. And like good cocktails. We shake it. And vent. And shake again. Now we let it stand to separate and voila we have some crude styrene. 
In the next video I will fractionally destill it but for now. Here is a video how my pyrolysis oil reactor caught fire. Have fun and do not kill yourself.